The reason Matt Barkley is not going to be able to play and my Max Wittick is going to start for SC against Notre Dame is because really Saturday was like living the election over again. Because it's not that your guy wins. It's the joy you take in the other people losing. <laughs> and I, 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 like, I think that, that makes me a bad person, but it totally matters. Like, pre don't pretend that these last couple of weeks since, uh, <laughs> since, since Obama won the election, that we haven't loved seeing Romney sort of melt down. And he, he was stupefied. He couldn't be shell-shocked. He couldn't believe it, right? He hates everybody, gifts, and the more 47% stuff. It's great seeing the hand-wringing and reading the more dumb stuff that Dick Morris said. And on Saturday, I was happy that UCLA won but not quite as happy as I was that SC lost. And the hand wringing and the, oh my God, we reevaluate. And, and JR and I talked, we had some very nice, very pleasant, very grown up conversations, totally <laughs> legit. But like there was this sense of JR massively objecting to the, uh, to the, what rightly so, this changing of the guard in LA. Yeah. Hey, we beat them once. Beat them solidly, like we were better, um, but one time. We beat them once. And what is good news for LA though, is that I don't think it is a changing of the guard, but I think it's a, probably the beginning of a new order where at least it's competitive. But I couldn't love it more when SC loses to UCLA and seeing sort of the meltdowns that happen on Twitter. Yeah, well, that was the thing. And I think part of it, and I said this before the game, um, I said, I don't want to see us continue to waste talent. That was my indication that, well, I, I, this was personally, I haven't talked to many SC people before the game. This was not in the bag at all. I hope they didn't believe that. But, I mean, we the way we see us give up 38, 40 points to Arizona. Yeah, and yeah. And then the next week when UCLA put up 52 on them, something like that, we said, yeah. I thought, um, this is going to be a problem for yeah, us yeah, yeah. <laughs> when no, we totally. played them. Because if we can't stop this team and they beat them 52 to 10, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, 66 um, we put yeah, up on Yeah, it was ridiculous yeah. that – I mean, this, you know, these, these things cross, <laughs> you know, you can kind of read the lead. JR said a great thing to me, which I love. JR ran track at SC, and he's a great athlete. <laughs> and and as, soon as, uh, as soon as, you know, the game ended, and it was, UCLA was tough in that game. They knocked Barkley out. They blocked two kicks. They were just, a, SC came back. A bar kit on defense was tough as hell, too. Yeah, and the, and the, la the one that locked Barkley out. And, and we blocked two kicks. And when SC challenged us, we came back. Like, it, you, an old UCLA team. Neuheisel would have had a 24-0 lead and lost 48-24. Like, you guys would have run. But we answered the call. We came back with two big drives. Jonathan Franklin, UCLA's all-time leading rusher. Tough runs. He, made, he broke a bunch of tackles first down. But after the game, like, as they were trying to run out the clock, we had a late hit on the backup quarterback. And we jumped off sides. Like, the game couldn't end because UCLA. And JR sent me a tweet or a text that was like, you know, that bullshit UCLA does with the hit in the backup quarterback. <laughs> and he's like, they pulled that same shit in track. It's institutional. Right, it's institutional, right. Cause that's, and the thing of it is, like, I, I, just let me finish this point. Like, I know that's nonsense, right? There's no way it is because I'm sure that SC, like, whatever, it's SC. Come on. But here's the thing. It made me so jealous because, like, even though I, I'm sure it's nonsense, I love that he's in it, and I would kill to be in it. I wish I could say, no, you guys pulled that shit all the time in track. But I can't, because I couldn't have run track. I loved how passionate he is and how he thinks that UCLA track guys were dirty. <laughs> they were dirty hurdlers. Stop. Dirty hurdlers. Um, have you ever heard of elbows being thrown in a track? Say so what? Have you ever heard of elbows being thrown in a race? No, a track? I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, UCLA has. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you. For, thanks, Jim. It's a video of someone getting hit in the face, which is great for YouTube airwaves. Let's yeah. see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you saw it? Yeah.